How's it going guys? Uh, Zabieru. Or if you're coming from my gaming Instagram, x64 gamer x, um, just kind of wanted to show you guys how to delete save files from different Pokemon games across, you know, the different gens and different devices as you see here. Um, I kind of like making these weird kind of quirky videos of kind of collective things. Um, maybe you have to keep Googling for, or like in my previous video with the Sega Genesis Retro Bit Controller, kind of testing out um, some things because I couldn't find that anywhere on the internet. And it wasn't until I tested it out myself by buying that, you know, Magic NS Switch adapter that it really, you know, put a perspective of what could work, what didn't work, and, you know, what was supported with that little adapter. So if you want to check that out, go ahead. It's a previous video. But today I uh, have my backlit Game Boy color that I just did recently. I have kind of like my everyday driver Game Boy um, that I'll take if I'm traveling or going somewhere for the day and I'll have some free time. You know, just helps pass the time. Got my new 3DS XL here. I have my Pokeball 2DS XL there and I have my original Nintendo Switch here. So first up, I have gold already in there. But this will work for you know, red, blue, yellow, green, uh, gold, obviously, and silver and crystal. Um, and the same button, co button combination actually works in the um, Game Boy Advance games and the DS games. So all we're going to do here is press up, B, and select. And then we're greeted with the question if we want to clear all save data. We are not going to do that. Because I can't remember how many of these games I've actually, you know, started a profile in or wanted to check out the, um, you know, the save profile that was already there. Um, I buy most of my Pokemon games secondhand. Um, recently with Gen 7 and 8, I purchased them brand new because I've gotten back into Pokemon. And it was just easier pre-ordering them, so support them from the jump. So, but now we're going to pick up the SP. I have leaf green in here, and we're on the title screen, so all we're going to do is the same thing. We're going to go up, B, and select, and we're greeted with a similar question, clear all save data. We're going to hit no. So either way, if you click no or yes, it's going to take you through a soft reboot. So we're going to put that down, and we're going to pick up my new 3DS XL. Sorry if you might see my mug. <laughs> Wearing a hat, my GameCube hat, because uh didn't feel like fixing my hair this morning, so. But I do not own a regular DS. I just have a couple 3DSs, but same kind of idea. Get through the intro animation, and there's Lugia. We're going to hit up, B, and select. It's going to give us a similar question. We're going to hit no. I actually just picked this up today with some store credit that I had at my local retro gaming store. So we're going to check that out. Maybe that'll be, uh, you know, the hidden gem with all those rares and <laughs> starters and a completed Pokedex and legendaries and, you know, perfect IV Pokemon. So next up, we have Ultra Moon here. It's got the intro cinematic here. Uh, let me get out of that. But for this one, it's going to be up B, and instead of select, we're going to press X. And of course, we're greeted with the same question. We're going to hit no. I need to start Ultra Moon. Um, haven't played it. I wasn't a big fan of Gen 7, but like I said, still bought it because I still support Pokemon Company, Game Freak, Nintendo, etc. So, and here's my Nintendo Switch here. Obviously, I have Sword already in. Um, I'm not going to take out the game cartridge for this specific reason. You'll find out in a few seconds here. But obviously, here's a little sub menu for it. I'm going to manage software. Um, I've been a big proponent of this. I've been transferring my save data back and forth between this and my Switch Lite. I got the Zacian and Zamazenta edition because I just like playing Pokemon in handheld. And although, you know, this is. Okay, in my hands, the Switch Lite just fits perfectly in my hands, and uh, it was a great handheld experience. Um, we're going to go down here, and as you can see, save data. 
will not be deleted because I have the game cartridge in. But if you press that, it'll take you through a prompt and it'll ask you if you want to delete your save data. You can hit yes and it's going to ask you if you're sure. Um, I'm not going to do that because I'm on camera here and I'm not about to delete a save file. It's 106 hours in. Uh, I completed the Galarian Pokedex, the main story and everything. So I'm working on some shinies and I'm actually going to start uh, doing competitive battles because I ha I'm really intrigued by it. And I've watched the VGC, but I've just never taken the time to really perfect a team and, you know, actually jump in. <laughs> kind of like what I've done with, you know, FPSs and, you know, action games and RPGs, etc. Kind of like with any game. I just want to give it a chance, so don't want to mess anything up there. But we're going to hit the home button. And you can also go into system settings and do that. I'm not going to take you through that because I don't want to show off any sensitive data because I think it'll roll over the internet settings but just a precaution but other than that that's how you do it for each device you know each handheld each gen so um, if you like the video go ahead and leave me a comment and a like uh, if you didn't enjoy it dislike again leave me a comment what I could change different maybe but just want to do a quick video um, I'm on my google pixel 2 so pretty decent camera so I'm glad I got the screens and everything but if this was helpful and informative, like I said, leave a like. If anything I could change, leave a dislike. And hopefully I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care. Bye.